people at home probably don't because they couldn't see any of the gestures I made to try to get that across. Face cam ruins Let's Plays. Say no to face cam. Also, face cam would be really uninteresting right now. People seem to think... I think people get this from watching PewDiePie, but when people play Let's Plays, they're like all over the place. Like, whoa, you know, like... Like, they're really animate and all over the place and making weird faces, but we're really not. Right now, we're just sitting on a couch, just... Yeah, I really... Blank don't... face, just looking at the screen. Yeah, I don't want the entire internet to see me scratch my crotch. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very interesting most of the time. Um... We, we usually sound much more animated than we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Quarters. Oh, we do play Quarters of Ioni. I don't think we did. It's okay, she's terrible at it. Is that one of those... <laughs> I love the music and the radio. <laughs> Perf it's the perfect setting. <laughs> yeah, she's fucking terrible at this game. Which makes sense of her character. And I've gotten really good at this now. <laughs> I love how she's got a cat on her sweater. And a leather skirt. Leather <laughs> skirt? Oh, I want a leather skirt. I would rock that skirt. You would rock a leather skirt. <laughs> I'd be like, oh yeah. And I could wear no shirt and be a blacksmith. <laughs> oh wow. And I'd be like, oh, I gotta hammer this. I'm gonna hit this sword with a fucking hammer until it's a sword somehow. We should we should really dress up as our D and D characters one day. Yeah, but our new campaign that's not gonna make much difference is D twenty one. Yeah, when we go back to playing D and D. We are playing D and D. It's just modern setting, so they'll dress like us. Well, what if? <laughs> What if for a You can dress as outlandishly as you like as your character, I guess. What if for a campaign, we it's like a demodern setting, but our characters are D&D &D players, and they dress up, and they're live-action role players. And Which... so they're dressed as... So they're dressed like D&D &D characters, like from the traditional D&D. <laughs> 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 Thanks for that. Anyway, what I what I'm thinking of when you say that is um, us dressing up as traditional fantasy characters, but like doing a real time campaign, like yeah. you have to actually go to the places and act it out, which is would be the that would that's too nerdy for me. We do some nerdy stuff, but that is like the bottom of the pit. That is. So I mean, I mean there is no coming back after that. <laughs> no, I mean like in the game. Our characters, though that's who our characters in the game are. Our people who dress up like traditional D and D characters. Yeah, but then, in a modern setting. Yeah, but then like stuff actually happens to them, so they have to actually. It's a bit late for that. Speaking of which, campaign is launching Sunday, one way or the other. We might need a. I don't know. I I realized I hadn't actually emailed Ben about or Tom about the details. Tom didn't even fucking know about it. Mm. Um, but I have now. Is that one of those? Could be Spy teddies. No. I can tell you that now. Right now, there's nothing wrong with the teddy. I love how I just followed her back to her room. She was like, I'm gonna leave now, and I was just burst into her room. That was fucking awesome, let's keep playing things. I would be like, no, get out. <laughs> what? I love how Luba has Christmas lights. Just all over her room. <laughs> well, if I could, I'd have Christmas lights all over my room. I love Christmas lights. But they get all tangled and the half of them don't work. I can deal with that. I For the can't. sake of shiny, shiny. What's hanging on her wall? From the ceiling? Uh, I think it's one of those wind chime thingies that don't actually make a noise. So we're gonna give her a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
does he have all those things? Because he's Larry. He has a surprising amount of weird interests. We need someone like Larry in our group. <laughs> Who's the, who would be the closest? Um, it would have been me before my being in a relationship thing. Yeah, pretty much. Um, in lieu, probably Declan. <laughs> but it's not a it's not a good match. It's just the closest we've got with what's left. True. I think anyway. It's definitely not Hayden. <laughs> definitely not. Um, Hayden has a personality closer to the girls in this. To be honest with you. Um, in interest wise, at least. We should make a dating sim where each one of us are characters they have to woo. Oh my god. That would be so good. <laughs> we can give Hayden like a super anime with, with like love. <laughs> and you, you have to take him on a date to send you. <laughs> and you have to rant, uh, you have to rave about Apple the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He'll ask you questions about Apple because that's what happens in dating games. <laughs> Blush foundation. How does he know how to apply foundation? There's a new trend on the internet. It's my boyfriend puts my makeup on. Yeah. Where they get boyfriends who have no idea about fucking makeup. Just mm -hmm. to, and then you can't tell them anything. You just got to give them all your makeup. And then be like, you know, go ahead, do my makeup. And they have to work it out. And I've only watched one, and that's the one. It's Ego Raptor and his fiance. Other than that, they're pretty bad for the most part. I'm very curious to see how this turns out. I would do one with Sarah, but Sarah doesn't wear much. To be fair, I know very little about makeup myself. So I could imagine myself having those, pro those issues. I'd probably just be like, it's time for some cake. Wow. Dress like a slut. Stimulated. <laughs> oh my, did your coach just talk to me? That's a bit much, right? <laughs> I.e. not you. See, look at him, he's working that out in his head, he's like, um... <laughs> what a trooper. Uh, well, let's do this. Oh, Larry. Oh, it's a, it's a Coronation Street, Larry. <laughs> what do you say? This is a boring character. This is the best character. Dad, the situation is good. The character isn't. So it's not because she's just like a big feminist. It's just because she's just not very interesting. She doesn't have much to say about things. I know that's the whole character, but it doesn't make for... Doing you with a strap on? No. Oh, okay. She was making you wear the strap on because she didn't want a real penis yet because then it doesn't count as sex. Oh, okay. Get it? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's why I think you were misinterpreting that situation a bit. <laughs> Good old Harriet. <laughs> and we got a severed teddy bear head. All right, let's go do Bizarre Bar. Literally. Trophy room. Right. I was imagining like a, a severed teddy bear head mounted on the wall. We do that. We just... 
I've got heaps of stuffed toys, as you've noticed. <laughs> They're in my car. Yes, I have. I mean, Dr. Frenzy. Dr. Frenzy is the shit. Man, me and my brother used to have so much fun with Dr. Frenzy. Because he had a bear called Bear, because I guess Lee wasn't quite as imaginative <laughs> as me. And, um, and we like made up this whole fictional universe they lived in. <laughs> Where they, where Frenzy owned a pizza parlor and he employed Bear to work behind the counter. And, That's it. And they had a friend called Wombi, the Wombat. I think I have him at home somewhere. And he, um, Wombi and Frenzy lived together and Wombi was like the chef, but he was all filthy and Scottish, mostly. <laughs> and, and Wombi drove a car that was a, just a cube. What? Like it just went boom, 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 boom. Like... And he just and he just like vomited in it all the time because it was it was just constantly spinning him around really roughly. There are like certain recurring themes that seem to dominate your imagination. And yeah, they had all these wacky adventures and Frenzy had the frenzy voice. It was like this. <laughs> oh, I'm Dr. Frenzy, I'm not very smart. <laughs> I Business is slow today. I can see to play Pac Man. That sounds like the plot of an anime. Bear, are you working? You better be working, Bear. Making me some money. <laughs> this should be the plot of your next animation. Yeah. It sounds a lot like Actually, when Actually, when I was learning Flash, it was Frenzy, Bear, and Wombi who I animated mostly. You haven't seen Downtown yet, have you? No. Well, here it is. We've got Lefties, the gay club. No, Spartacus, the gay club. <laughs> Lefties is the convenience store. Plaidmart. Plaidmart. But yeah. So yeah, that was... That's why I keep hold of Frenzy. Because Frenzy is the benziest. <laughs> I have this um, a rab a stuffed rabbit called Rabby. Because I was not very really creative with my naming either. <laughs> and um, my, my dad used to do puppet shows with it. Every time I went, when I went to bed every night. And he gave it this personality that it was like insanely jealous of all my other stuffed toys. And I have like I had like this stuffed duck and this stuffed um stuffed cow I used to sleep with and dad used to make it so my rabbit hated this cow and this duck and wanted to eat them. And he's always going on about how he wanted to have and he's always like going on about how he wanted to have my stuffed duck with orange sauce. And he just used to he just used to attack my other toys. And then one day my Find some trendier clothes. What One is, day my dad came oh, into my room want? and I, was, I had a bunk bed and I slept on the top. And he was kind of drunk. And he came in and I was like, um, I had a stuffed dog. And I was sleeping through that and he, and he made it so that my stuffed toy Ravi got really upset and committed suicide off the top of my bunk bed because I was giving attention to this stuffed dog. Oh. Oh, she goes for preppy, that's weird. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Your dad's pretty messed up. <laughs> My dad's awesome. She's buying porn, by the way. Oh. <laughs> It is like this episode of The Simpsons where Grandpa, where Grandpa Simpson's a vending machine. I remember that shit. Is it a vending machine? He's the arcade machine. Oh yeah. He's a love tester. That was so cool. <laughs> so uh, it's weird that didn't seem out of place. <laughs> huh? It didn't seem out of place at all. Like, that whole episode didn't seem, like, weird or surreal for The Simpsons. Oh, it was a clip show. Yeah. So, they weren't, like... Yeah, but it, it still... Even if it just actually happened, it would... <laughs> I would just accept it. <laughs> Can we just talk about how Larry is having a fight with a video game machine? Um... Larry is having a fight with a vending machine. Video game machine. It's not like we haven't had fight with this video game today. That's true.
He sounds like Hulk Hogan. Lay it on me, brother. I, I text pictures of my daughter in bikinis, brother. I'm potentially incestuous, brother. Jellera's butt's as big as the Queen's. What? And twice as fragrant. What are you talking about? Butts as big as Queen's? And twice as fragrant. Those butts. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that comic where it's like, Your Majesty, I don't understand butt fetishes. They're just flaps of skin <laughs> and flesh. And then the king looks really displeased, and the next shot is the guy, like, about to get executed. And from, like, well, before the guillotine comes down, he's just screaming, Poop comes out of them! <laughs> like, <laughs> it's good stuff. It's on my blog, I think. Poop does come out of them. They make a good point. What nationality is she? That's what I'm trying She's to She's the out. only black character, but she has no accent. So she would be American, I guess. She sounds like Sally Mae. Yeah, that's, that's what's what confusing me. She sounds like a country girl. It's probably the same voice actor. Probably. Oh, oh don't poke me. No. 